Hey guys, welcome to our first video talking about the Valve Steam Deck. They just added a really cool feature, but I have found that it is a little bit quirky so far. So let's get into it and go over what we need to do. So Steam added the ability to transfer games over your local network, which is really cool. Uh, keeps you from downloading them or having to grab a thumb drive. Uh, so pretty cool. A uh, couple issues I ran into right off the bat, uh, even though it's treating it like it's available. Uh, the ability to enable it was not on my S Steam account. Uh, when I launched my desktop Steam on my local PC. Um, so I did have to enable betas, and I had to install the newest beta. And so to do that, it's just really easy. You go into settings, and you go into account, and like right here, it shows beta participation. I'm now in the beta. You can hit change and you can opt out of betas. If you opt out, it will restart and it will just take you back to the standard version. Same thing, if you're not on beta uh, and you opt in, it's going to make you restart Steam, update, and then you'll be logged back in. Once you have that, this down here, you go to downloads. And for me, this wasn't here until I got into the betas. I'm sure this will be rolling out really shortly though. Uh, but game file transfers over local networks. It was set to off. So I set it to allow transfers to and from my own devices. It also has allow transfers to and from Steam friends or allow transfers to or from any user. It's my understanding if it's friends, they do need to be in your friends list. Uh, there's also quite a few stipulations um, with how this works. So you cannot be playing in game when you have this going. And so, which kind of stinks because, you know, you'd hope maybe it'd let you update to your Steam Deck while you're playing a game, but you can't do that. You also cannot be downloading uh, any updates or anything on your Steam account. And also, whatever game you are transferring has to be up to date. So if you haven't updated and downloaded all of the updates for all your games, you try to transfer one of those, it will not work. And also, to my knowledge, other than this is the last stipulation, on the desktop side, is that you cannot be in big picture mode. So you must be in desktop mode um, for this to work. So once you have allow transfers to and from my own devices enabled, uh, you can click OK. And then you'll look at whatever games you have installed. I don't have a ton of games here. Yeah, I know it's weird, weird collection of games there. Anyway, uh, and then once you have this side done, then it's time to move over to the Steam Deck. So we will do that right now. All right. So we are on the Steam Deck. You can hit start on your Steam Deck controller, go down to settings, it's really similar. You're gonna go down to downloads. Uh, and now this was one problem I had on my Steam Deck. So on my Steam Deck, I had the game file transfer over local network. This was available here. It was set to don't allow, but whenever I tried to set it to allow and I exited out and then I moved and checked back, it kept going to don't allow. And I tried changing other settings in here, trying to see if I could get that to save and it wouldn't. And so I did the same thing I did on the desktop version. It's probably just a bug but I went in here to system and I went and I got into the beta channel. So uh, when I did that, it restarted Steam Deck, downloaded the update and installed it and then loaded in. 
and I was good to go. So Civilizations game I have installed on my other computer. So you're just gonna hit install and install. Okay, this is a big quirk I have found so far on the Steam Deck version. Right here, you have internal drive or micro SD. So I kept trying to install the micro SD and it kept trying to download straight from the internet. And so it looks like at this point, you have to select internal drive. So you hit select internal drive. You can hit the start menu and go over to downloads. And this is what it should look like. It is transferring games files on the local network from device, whatever your device is named, and it will start going. And so that is what it should look like. It's gonna go through, I think most of the steps, validating and all that. But now instead of downloading off the internet or moving your files over from a USB thumb drive or anything, you can now do this over your local network, which seems pretty cool because uh, just kind of set it and let it go. And you know, it's probably gonna max out your Wi-Fi connection or at least the Steam Deck's Wi-Fi connection. And technically they should work vice versa. And so, uh, you know, you should be able to, if you already had a game on your Steam Deck and you want to toss it over onto your computer instead of like finding a thumb drive or whatever, or downloading it again, you can just do it in reverse. And so, uh, pretty cool. It's gonna depend on your Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi in this room is not great. But uh, yeah, cool feature. Um, it still definitely seems buggy, but uh, I'm sure it will get better in the future. Anyway, thanks for uh, checking out this video. Uh, like and subscribe if you find it helpful, and I will see you next time.